I wish I could just get rid of my stupid double chin. Yeah, that's right. And get a more, like, defined jawline. A more aesthetic jawline. My jawline sucks! <sighs> hey, I have an idea. Let's search on YouTube, the most credible and scientifically correct platform where only experts get to share their opinions. Oh, there are lots of them. I am not f surprised. Online Trials episode 9, let's begin. How to get rid of your flap below your neck is the most common concern. These exercises will help you see a tremendous change. Gently turn your chin on the right shoulder, come to the center and take it to your left, come to the center and let's do it one more time. Take what is this bullshit? Okay, it doesn't even take much to just... I mean, oh, for f sake, it has 8 million views. And look at the... Oh, I know I say this so often, but look at the like and dislike rate on this sh People actually think that this works, you know, they claim that it will help you reduce fat around your chin. But it is such a commonly known fact that you cannot spot reduce fat. That means like you cannot burn fat locally in one area, you cannot do sit-ups and expect to lose fat around your abs. You cannot wiggle your head from side to side or do anything that will then burn fat around your chin. I mean, you can lose fat, like, overall, if you start caring about your diet and burning more calories, right? And that will eventually make you lose fat around your neck as well. But you cannot do it, like, you cannot spot reduce fat, Jesus! Style craze fitness, this is false information. God! Next video. This free taster is brought to you by Faceworks, a 20 minute workout for the face. Exercise 9, Chin and Jaw Toner. Uh, this seems legit. 11 million views, 12 million views, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. Hold for a count of 10. I mean, we don't have to look at any more videos claiming that you can uh, lose fat around your neck by doing these exercises. You, you can all see, I hope, that this is complete bullshit. But the amount of people actually believing in these videos and and thinking that they are helpful videos from trustworthy channels. I mean, <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> it's, it's so sad. So are you someone who has face fat? You're of course, Ram Gooman made a lot of these videos. I'm not gonna watch them now. But what if I just want to get a more aesthetic jawline and get a more defined jawline? There must be a way. There must be a way to work out your muscles around here to get a more masculine jawline so you can get all the women. That's not what all the women likes, okay? Let's see. What's up guys, Austin Dunn, I'm back again with another video. In this video, I actually do have tips for you to get a nice jawline. 24 seven, always be chewing gum, even in your sleep, chew a lot of gum. Chew gum in your sleep, yeah. That it's gonna work. Your jaw is gonna get pretty tired and the muscles are gonna be worked. Who says that your jaw muscles won't actually grow, right? Who says that your jaw muscles won't grow? If you look at most forums online, um, people say, yeah, chewing gum will make your jaw grow. But if we look at what an actual dental hygienist says here, she says, nothing that we chew will change the jawline. Humans need to eat about 30 minutes per day, and so the joints are designed to handle only food needs. Overchewing of gum can cause joint instability and malfunction and painful tension headaches. You don't want to go there. That's what I've heard as well, that if you, like, you already use your jaw a lot during the day, you eat a lot of food and, and all that, you're not meant to, to clinch more and, and chew more things than you know, than is, than is necessary, and, and that can cause headaches, and um, it's really not, it's not good. <laughs> I mean, he seems like a, like a nice, genuine guy, and I'm sure that he means well with this, but I think it's another example of him being genetically gifted, and then pretending to have some kind of secret knowledge that he wants to share with you, so you can achieve the same. If we go back to one of his uh, oldest videos, you can also see that he has a pretty defined jawline. It's genetics, everybody. It's the same with height, and you know all the videos are made ab about that. There's nothing you can do about your height. It's genetically. There's nothing you can do about your 
jawline. Unless you're fat, of course, and you need to just lose weight. But you can definitely not put on any significant amount of muscle uh, by chewing gum. So a few days after he made a follow-up, which pretty much went viral, has 3 million views, more or less. And in this one, he actually comes with exercises, face exercises that will tighten your chin and jawline, he says. Open. I don't think that's good. Again, I really don't think you should put too much strain on your jaw. A, E, I, O, stick your tongue out. <coughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so this is the truth, everybody. I'm very excited. First, let me give you some background. How do I know all of this stuff about face exercises and jawline? So for one, I think I gotta pretty decent jawline, right? That doesn't prove that you know a lot about it. You know, as I said before, it's called genetics. So that's, that's a misunderstanding. That's a really bad point. That's what I'm trying to say. A flawed logic. So I know you've seen those old people where they have like a saggy, droopy face and a nice toned body. That's because they work out their body, but they forgot about their face muscles. No, that's not why old people have, you know, wrinkles and all that. That's because once you grow older, a protein in your skin called elastin will um, disappear and not reproduce. And that will get you the wrinkles when you get old. It's not because they didn't do face exercises when they're young. I mean, why? Why do you say this? Where do you have it from? Like, where did you read it? So something else I want to introduce to you guys, all right? This is going to change your life. This is going to change my life. I'm excited. Let's see. So what is the Jawsercise, all right? The Jawsercise is this neat little piece of equipment that literally works out your face and your neck muscles all in one. It's crazy. I can't believe somebody invented this. And From a business point of view, I can see, you know, it's a smart move. Of course, he makes money. And I understand that it's tempting to just make a deal like that. But I just don't believe you're being honest right now. Like... Okay, let's see what he has to say about it. All you do is put it in your mouth. And you literally bite, bite down just like that to work out your jaw muscles. So if you do want to check out jaws or size, I highly recommend that you visit the link down below and check them out. I'm telling you. Yeah, bro. Awesome video. Nice video, handsome. Looks awesome. I just ordered it. I hate to see YouTubers that use their genetics to pretend to know some secret that others don't just to create content like this guy and people who naturally grow long beards or have curly hair and they use these genetics that they were born with to sell people on this idea that they have some kind of process or regime. I call bullshit. This comment pretty much describes my point. Like, I'm not trying to be mean towards Austin Dunham, but I just don't think the guy is being honest here. I did go to look it up and because I mean what what does the experts say? That's what I'm interested in. What does the professionals actually say? Because you know who who is this guy Austin Dunham? He's just uh, I mean he doesn't have any education in you know face things like he's not a doctor he's not you know what I mean right? He's not educated on this point. The source of his knowledge he claimed was because he he looked good. So for one I think I gotta pretty decent jawline, right? That that doesn't prove anything. So I found this article, does jaw exercise really work? The product makes a lot of claims. So Healthline contacted two dental and orofacial experts to talk about what to expect from the jaw exercise. Harris and jaw exercise didn't respond to numerous requests for comment for this publication. Hmm. That's a bit suspicious. What I wonder why they didn't want to comment on this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> since the jaw and other facial muscles are already worked out during the day through talking, eating and similar activities, they already endure a certain amount of strain. Parafunctional activities like chewing gum or using a jaw exercise increases the strain on the face and jaw. These should actually be avoided because they have the potential to lead to the development of jaw problems. These include tension headaches, jaw clicking and popping, and injury to the temporomandibular joint, <laughs> uh, the hinge that connects the jaw to the face. This doesn't sound good, and it doesn't sound worth it, just in an, an attempt to grow your 
jaw muscles. There is no evidence that this does anything, said Henderson. Of course, I want to hear what you guys think, but I would deem this as not being a very good or beneficial product. You know, the, the problem is that people are so easy to manipulate. People have a tendency to believe in what they want to believe you know, what's most convenient for them to believe in. I've talked about this before. And then when some uh, YouTube creator who seems like a genuine person and, you know, it's a high quality video, it seems professional. When he comes along and says, hey, this actually works. Psst, psst. You can actually do this. Just buy this product and stuff. And then, you know, people trust them. So that's my thoughts about all these reducing fat around your chin and neck videos and getting a more um, defined and strong jawline videos. I think they're all bullshit and I think they can be harmful in some ways. And that's why I feel like I had to make this video. And honestly, I'm just, I'm just tired of people who are genetically gifted and then they claim to have some sort of knowledge about uh, some kind of program or a product that got them the results they have, but actually it's just genetics So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments and uh, subscribe and click the bell if you want notifications And I'll see you guys in the next video